Yo, what's going on YouTube? Mitchy here, and I'm um, going to make a chicken risotto today. So I thought I'd make a video. Um, got us some uh, risotto rice here. Going to use about a cup of that. And um, What else are we going to use? Oh, we've got some chicken stock. I just got this powdered chicken stock. I'm going to put like four cups of water and four teaspoons of chicken stock in. Just so it's like pretty much like chicken stock. This is also um, MSG free chicken stock. But yeah. So. Chuck in four cups of water. And four teaspoons of this chicken stock. Bring that to a boil. You may want to give it a bit of a mix so it dissolves. All right. The next thing is to um, I'm going to put one onion, so Gonna chop it um, relatively finely. I don't like like big chunks of onion in my food now. For it to be a bit more finely chopped, but I suppose it depends how you like it. I might start doing the odd cooking video. It's just that it's normally hard to get a bit of, you know, not always that quiet around here, so it's hard to do it. But just chuck some oil in and brown these onions off. Now we're going to cut the chicken up. I'm also going to add some carrots and peas and maybe beans too. Some veggies in there. I'm going to try and make some longer videos now. Might get a bit boring I suppose, but I think YouTube likes that kind of stuff. Like real long videos, especially if people stay on them. Keep it 
gather the fruit of the carrot. I've got a ladle here too that I'm going to use to scoop the chicken stock into the white mixer. Chicken in there. Might need to crank the heat up a bit more. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our rice into the pan. Um, so we're going to measure out about a cup of rice here. This is risotto rice, but alborio rice. So get about a cup in there, and then. This stuff's going to carry on cooking for about 20 minutes anyway, so it doesn't really need to be you know, cooked right through or anything. Just kind of brown it off, I guess. I like to break them up into smaller pieces. Chicken here. I can't even already see the pan coming. Just so it, um, I don't know, so it just kind of feels like there's more chicken in there. Then you eat it. So we'll take that rice in and just keep mixing it around I guess. I mean you don't really have to but like yes. Just probably want to cook that for a couple of minutes. Three to four minutes it says on this package.
think we might need a bit more oil. We're just going to start uh, ladling our chicken stock into the wire. So fill your ladle and pour it in. Probably turn that heat down a bit and give it a stir. On the package it says to do about a cup at a time and then so about this is a half a cup so two of these and then wait five minutes or so um, I'm going to add my uh, carrots and peas and I might chop, chop up some beans as well I think I might just like stop editing videos I think they're like, it's just too time, too time for trimming. Alright, I'm making a bit of a mess here. But, it's all good. I guess. There's some home growing beans here, I think I'm going to chuck them too. So they come to the barbecue. Do you give them a rinse to this thing, guys? They always feel real different to like beans you get at the supermarket. Kind of like, um, not really a smooth surface, kind of rough. In with the beans. Pretty um pretty good feed, pretty healthy. Um so what we're gonna do, I'm not gonna show you guys the entire process, I'm just gonna tell you because it's gonna take like 20 to 30 minutes and this video is already at 15. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep putting this into the risotto. Um, and until like all of the mixture's gone, uh, and if you finish, if like you finish your stock, then just start adding water. If um, if the rice isn't cooked completely, uh, you could just you know get a piece of rice out and test it and see if it's um, soft. So keep doing that, and then once you've finished, once it's the rice is ready. Um, Just add one tablespoon of butter or margarine and some grated cheese. Um, I know people like to get fancy and do like um, 
do like parmesan cheese and stuff like that, but I just chucked in the regular cheese, tastes pretty good, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you for watching and hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy the recipe.